Hi everyone, welcome to Dave's Bonsai. On today's episode, the Siberian Elms are going to get their final prune of the year. At the end of March, I took my Siberian Elm Forest, which was a big cluster of trees from uh, one of my fellow MBS members, I uh, got a great deal for it. I got the whole forest for 10 bucks. Yeah, he was trying to clear out some of his trees and uh, I thought it was a great price. And I, in turn, turned it into three little mini forests. So that was back in uh, late March of this past year, 2021. <clears throat> and these are the three uh, forests now after a year of growth. Um, we had some slow starts with the trees this year, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do in year two. I think they'll just explode. You can see we still have a little bit of green on this tree. This little engine that could did not want to stop. So, <clears throat> super excited to be working into the plant room today because I got gramps over my right shoulder. So, uh, I mentioned this a couple episodes ago as well, that um, I needed to hang the picture of gramps. So, my brother drew uh, my grandfather and uh, gave that to my mother. And my mother and uh, her husband, my stepfather, uh, have recently moved. We just got them into their downsized house and she's got a couple portraits of gramps and uh, she let me have this one. Um, and so my brother drew it and uh, my, my grandfather was a photographer. And so my early days of photography started when I was about eight years old and I had one of those cameras that you look down into to uh, take that picture. And I've been taking photographs ever since uh, uh, that uh, about eighth year of life. So I've loved photography and videography ever since. And uh, so now that I have my little uh, YouTube channel here and I work on bonsai trees and it's kind of an artistic form, I've always got gramps now over my shoulder, at least in the plant room, uh, keeping an eye on things and keeping things hopefully creative and uh, the compositions uh, uh, working for me. So uh, thanks to my brother for uh, letting me keep that. Uh, and my mother for donating it to me, and now I get to have Gramps here in the plant room. So <clears throat> we're gonna get started and uh, get these trees just trimmed up for the year. So again, there was a little bit of, um, shall I say, stagnation in the growth at the beginning, then there was a little bit of damage from the Japanese beetles. They got on a couple of the trees, and so they've been through a little bit of rough patches, um, but I think they're doing okay, and um, they do, um, if, if you go back and look at um, the previous uh, episode back from March when I uh, got this all separated, the roots were ferociously crazy and all over the place, so I'm gonna let this grow all next year, and then we'll repot them in uh, probably 23, spring of 23, and I'm just hoping the growth is gonna be great. We have all kinds of rocks in these little, almost penjing, if you will. Uh, we've got uh, the forest with rocks, and when my son and I have gone on a lot of hikes, we've had rocks like this where we've actually climbed these rocks and hung out with the trees, you know, that were about this thick, but growing around the rocks. So I just wanted them to have that kind of feel of hiking with my son. And so that's why I've left all those rocks in there. Uh, it's kind of fun. I, I, I like this one here with uh, the big rock here. And so I'm going to scoot around to the front and we're going to take a look at some of these trees. This will be a pretty short session because there's not a whole lot to clip, but we're going to get them all compact and a little bit uh, shorter, uh, ready to explode uh, in the next growing season. Then we'll put them back in the cold frame. So let me come around to the front. First of all, we've got forest number one that was on the spinning table. Let's go ahead and take a nice peek all the way around, 360 degrees, coming around the right side of the forest. And we've got the back side here, which also could be a front. Maybe this was the front. There we go, looking into the forest there. And then this would be the right side. But you know what? This could also be the front. But I don't want this big boulder to be kind of in our front or the other boulder. I like them in the background. And so there is our front of our first tree. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a little bit of a trim, okay? So <clears throat> essentially, I'm just gonna look for, for branching. Um, typically that, again, there's maybe two or three growing out of the same spot. We're just gonna shorten it up a little bit. And so it's ready to grow for next year. Um, so why don't we start with the tall tree in the back center. Not a lot of growth on this all the way up until very, really at the top up here. Looks like we had just some stuff that didn't grow. Um, we might get a whole bunch of back buds next year. We're gonna hope for that. But we have a tree that's just kind of a stump until it gets way up here. And there's no, not a whole lot going on. So this will be one of those kind of Hail Mary cuts, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut this thick part off right here. We hope anyway, there we go. Time to sharpen these old uh, shears, huh? So I could leave it right there. If I cut that, if I cut that and this down, 
Here's where it was cut earlier in the year. All right. So we could leave that there. Got a little bit of death right there. We'll see what we do with the other branches. So we have our first cut there. Let's go to this tree right here. Now you see how thick this growth is up here? That's super, super thick up here. So we're gonna cut below that for sure. Get that thick section off, because we want thicker down here. We want it to get thinner up top. So we have two branches in here, one on the inside and one right here. This one is growing a little bit more towards the back. Um, this one's coming out at us, but it has a nice little division there. I would shorten all those regardless, but these two are going to fight against each other. So I think to have the forest be down and more compact, and this one kind of comes out and up, I'm going to cut that one off and I'm going to save this one. And we'll see what it does. Cut off some of these dead branches. And so that's the one branch down lower here. We might even get some back budding down here by these nodes. We got nodes here, 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 all kinds of nodes where we can hopefully see some growth there. Now we've got three branches up here growing from this spot. Well, this one looks like it's a dead one. So we got this growing straight out to the right. So we'll cut that off. And we got this little guy up here that splits into two. Who knows if that'll even be uh, alive next year. We'll see. We'll leave that one right about there. This one's got some interesting ones sprawling right out the camera here. We're just going to cut that off. And then we're just going to cut this back and cut this back and cut this one back in the background. Now right here, it goes to the right. We've got this little inside branch that's kind of in a weird spot. We'll get that one off. I'm having a hard time reaching in there. There we go. And then it splits up here and splits up here into some interesting growth patterns. Three branches from that same spot right there. This splits here, splits here. You know, we'll just leave those and see what they do. Not sure what they're going to do. We're going to go ahead and cut this one right here. And cut all that top off and then we'll see if uh, we get some back buds and see if these become new branches. We're going to make this one shorter. It looks a little, a little uh, thick up here and gnarly. And we'll trim this back one. So that one's trimmed. So we got high, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. And then down here on the side, Camera's kind of blocking the light a little bit there. But we can go ahead, we've got uh, all these little ones. Some of these might die off. It'd just be too weak. We can just leave that, that, leave that tree alone. And we go to this side now. And if we just shorten, shorten, let's bring this one down to size. Now we've got boom, boom, boom. See what happens. We got this one in the back here. Let me put my hand behind here. There we go. Real thick and gnarly here and some just really bizarre looking growth here. This, this just really did grow in a very odd way this year. We're just cutting all these shorter. This one has some damage right here. Not sure what's happening with this tree. This one's growing right towards the front. A little stub down here. So this tree is in just really awkward shape. So I think we'll just kind of leave this here this death right here, I'm not sure what it's going to do. Maybe that's why these two are trying to grow because this one is just, uh, yeah, that one is split. This could have been hit by a, maybe one of the, you know, balls from this summer from one of the, uh, one of the kids because it's cracked open like it was uh, damaged by something with pressure. Or maybe I bumped it. Who knows? So we'll see what happens with this tree off to the side. That was a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting, uh, un, um, well, I just don't know what happened to it, right? So now it's a little stumpy back there. So we got our big tree back here. It's got a kind of an interesting double split right there. We're just going to go ahead and cut these down. We'll cut this one down. We'll cut this one down to size, and this one down to size, and this one down to size. This one has some really odd growth in the front here. I'm just going to cut the whole thing off right now. And I don't like that it's taller than this tree, so I'm actually going to go down to right there. And we'll leave that one there. This back one here, we're just going to cut off that, cut off that, cut off that. And back here, we've got some nice movement here from back over here. It comes up and wants to come over this way. We've got three branches back here. we got down low in the middle and up high here. 
So let's just, we're gonna cut the one right off here. This is kind of in the inside of a curve. So we're gonna cut that one off and we're gonna cut this lower one off and we'll see if this one does anything. A lot of these might just die right off. We'll cut this one back here. This was an old cut from earlier in the year. We're just gonna cut it further down, cut off that, and we'll just let that go right there. So forest number one, we have kind of a upward uh, point here and uh, as the sun comes up, up this way, it's kind of got all the, the, the top growing up to the sun and then the sides here when they're shaded out in the evening and the morning. So we got the, a little, uh, little uh, movement there. Let's go ahead, let's cut that off and cut that off. Tree number one, from the front. A final spin. There we have forest number one. So here we have forest number two. I believe this is the front. Got a leaf in here. We could do a lot of cleaning up here. There's just there's just some mess in here. And we can make some of our prunes. Still a little bit of kernels of those uh, of the fertilizer I put on earlier in the year, earlier in the fall, I should say. All right. So we have a couple of rocks again, off to the right here, off to the left. And when you circle it back, there's a nice flat one back there. Um, so this looks like it would probably my front. And we have a forest of nine trees in this one. And they're kind of in three rows. It's almost like there's a trail this way, a trail this way. If I turn the, turn the pot there, there you go. Here's one trail, here's another trail. That would be kind of a fun little way to look at a forest, right? Like the rows of trees. But we ha offset them here and make them, make, them, uh, make them look like hopefully just a lot of randomness. So this one looks like it took a hit. Look at this one. We got some damage down to here. Well, that just shot all over the place. Still some green down there though, so that's good. Trying to get this little cleaned up a little bit more. Let me grab my other tool. Get the concave out here. There we go. Now this might not survive, this one back here. This one might not survive, but we've got this nice strong branch right here. We're just gonna cut it back right there. Let's go right next to it right there. And let's just cut all this up shorter. And now that one's all nice and short. Okay. Let's come up to this tree up here. I got kind of a weird double growth up here in the front. This lower branch might not last very long. It doesn't split till way up here. We've got some movement in this trunk right here. I'm gonna cut this one back to right there. Being it's in the front. And I want these two trees to be taller. The one that's alive here, we're also going to cut that back. And those branches, we'll just leave them on until they die in the cold frame. So there's a little tiny tree in the background right by it here. Super small. We'll just see what that one does. In the pack, we've got this wild, gnarly looking tree back here. All kinds of funky growth. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna trim it all down. And we're gonna see which ones survive next year. They're all in different growing locations except for this one, so I'll cut that one off. And now from the front here, we got kind of an every other pattern. I'll get rid of this sideways one. And there we go, we got a T-bar right here. So let's cut this side off. And we'll just let that go like right there. Back here, this one's kind of coming out in front. We've got three in the back. Let's just cut that one off, cut that one shorter, cut that one shorter, cut that one shorter. We'll see what that back one does. And now we're left with the front uh, center two. So this one has nice thick trunk. This one has a pretty thick trunk. And we've got a couple branches growing right at me here. We don't want that. So we're gonna cut those two off. Now there's a branch that's back here that makes this nice secondary branch. We're gonna get it shorter. I hope it ramifies this next year. We're gonna make this a little bit shorter. I think we're gonna cut it down to here now. 
cut that right there, see if that goes out and spreads out. And I like, as you can see, this one has some movement here. It kind of comes up this way and swirls back this way. Right here, you can see the movement better right there, probably. Nice movement there. So, kind of an interesting tree. This one has some movement too. What I don't like about this tree is this great big chunk right here. That is really too big. So it's time to make an aggressive move. We're gonna come back here and try to cut it at an angle and maybe save this branch back here. Well, how am I gonna do that? Well, let's get this off for sure right here. Okay, so that's gone. It's just a great big bulge there. So I don't know if I cut this off, if that would even survive. But let's just go ahead and leave it on and see. If it survives, it survives. If it doesn't, this back uh, branch can grow. And we'll just see what happens. Bit of a Hail Mary prune there. All right. So I can clean out a little bit of needles from in here, a few branches. Um, nothing nothing uh, wrong with a little bit of needle decay and leaf decay. Uh, it can turn into some nitrogen next year uh, as it continues to decay, break down, and that provides some natural fertilizer. So um, don't have to get every speck. I'm not going to put this in a show or anything real soon. <laughs> uh, this is a long way away from any kind of show thing. Um, so yeah, so you can pluck away just for cleanliness. You can leave some stuff there. And I have a really small little forest now. So got this one a little bit bigger in the back and this one right here with this one. We did a really big chop right here, but we'll see if this one grows. Um, um, and some of these are just uh, real skinny branches that are probably not going to come back. We'll see. And then this one was, uh, this one had died back for some reason, but a nice sturdy branch over here. And one, uh, one that still wants to be alive. So we'll let that one go for a little bit longer. I notice where this branch comes out right here. Let's cut it back a little bit more to there. And there we have forest number two. Let's give it a let's give it a twirl. Here's the right side from the back, coming back around to the front. There we have forest number two. All right, we have forest number three ready to go on the turntable. We've got some old leaves that are dying, dying back, falling to the forest floor. And again, those can disintegrate and provide a little bit of uh, nitrogen next year. So it's not even a, necessarily a bad thing to have some uh, leaves die off and uh, disintegrate, disintegrate into the ground. Got a little bit of moss in here, but not a ton. Got some fertilizer that's still breaking down. And we'll just break down until it's done, done. And we have some more pruning to do. So let's take a look at this forest. So here we go, forest number three from the front now. Let's give it a spin. See on the right side, we got another nice rock right here. Big rock in the back, nice growth back here. The left side and then back to the front. So a couple of rocks on this one as well. And we've got uh, some trees that got a little bit of character here. We got this big branch coming up here. This has a nice uh, to the left, to the right, to the left. This one's got a nice split back here. There's also a split in the back and something trying to grow up front. And look at this curvy one right here. This goes up and comes over this way and that way. So I'm gonna go ahead Cut that one off there. And this has a weird downward growth and we'll just cut this right there. This one's growing straight back at us, very odd. I'll just cut it here and see what happens with the growth next year. This one's growing kind of odd too. Some, some really bizarre tree growth on these this year. We'll just kind of see what happens here. This one's growing down but We'll see what happens with that little stump now. We go to this one here. There is another uh, broken branch here. This looks like this was uh, broken off. I'm not really sure 
what happened there, but there's, there's life underneath there. We have a branch that's swooping down extremely odd right there. Not sure what that's going to be. Got a whole bunch of branches in here. Growing some odd directions here. Usually the elms uh, grow pretty ferociously, so I'm not worried that we'll get uh, some new growth next year and some interesting back budding, I hope, or some quality back budding. But we're just gonna go ahead and cut some of these extra ones off. Back here, we'll just go a little bit shorter. Still a couple little leaves on there. This one's growing straight down, interesting growth. So we'll hope these things fill out next year. Again, we had a very odd year for these uh, trees. They didn't grow in the beginning very well. They were very slow to get started. Let's uh, bring this back here, leave two buds. We'll leave a couple buds there. Some of this stuff, yeah, just cleaning up some of this, this, this odd, uh, odd death of the tree. This branch is pretty low, but I'm gonna keep it for right now. I'm going to do this. I'll cut this one back down to right there. We've got this new strong branch growing here for a leader. We'll see what that one does. This side growth uh, here, we're just going to leave most of that on here except for this little one down here. So we got a couple of branches there. And then where this divides back here, I'm going to cut that one off. This branch looks like it was busted off. We're going to cut that off. I'll just leave that like that. This tree, we're going to cut this one down to here. I think we'll shorten up this branch. And we've got this really interesting growth here. It grows almost straight up like it wants to be the new leader. And then this one grows and it's starting to curve up as well. I'm going to shorten it to there for sure. But then this one's in the way. Cut that out of there. So I got this or this. I cut it off right there. I think I'm gonna cut this one off here now. This back branch should be shorter. So we'll cut to that one. I think I'm gonna cut this one off. I'm gonna see what back buds, I'm gonna see what this tree does with the where, the where it is right now. Let this be the new leader for a little bit and we'll see if it comes back. And then back here, I'm just going to shorten this tree down to here, down to there, shorten that up. And this one just grows in the wrong direction entirely. And we may have a tree there. This one's going to come off even shorter. So this tree's leaning a little bit. I could fix that with a more rock structure. Be better if the tree was way over here. But we're just gonna leave it for now. I see this really long growth back here. We'll cut it off shorter and hope it grows more up. And I think this one is just too long out here. All right. So we have a scraggly little forest of different height trees. This would be the uh, mother tree, probably right there. And this would be second in line. And so they're gonna like fight for all that growth and movement. I think because of that height of the mother tree, I think I'm gonna go down one more on this one, like that. I'll leave that one right there. There we go. Tree forest number three. There is forest number three. We'll give it a final spin. See the right side. 
the forest from the back and then back to the front. The Siberian elm forests have been pruned for the final time this year, so they're all set up to shoot out a whole bunch of new growth next year and we'll just let them grow like crazy. We'll have to keep an eye on those Japanese beetles and see where I place these so uh, we can avoid those. And uh, hopefully we can avoid uh, some footballs or whatever might have cracked a couple of these branches. Maybe it's those darn squirrels. I don't know. They're, they're all over my trees this past year for sure. So we have the three Siberian elms. Fantastic. We'll get those back in the cold frame and we're going to keep them in there so they'll be nice and um, protected all year long. Um, this, uh, these were outside with that first snowfall a couple days back and so they are just still, still incredibly moist uh, from the melting snow. They will not need water for several, uh, I would imagine, a couple of weeks for sure. So I have a couple of updates today. The first update is uh, the uh, grape wood project where I went ahead and shellacked or uh, I put a layer of uh, glaze over this. Um, so I got this top layer now where it's all nice and shiny. I'm gonna put some flex seal in here next. I did get some that seeped through and kind of made this part look a little bit sloppy here. So I'm gonna to have to take a little tool and we'll do some uh, some sanding, some filing, and get this extra um, extra glaze off. But it's looking pretty good. So from the side there, looks really nice and shiny. So again, I will use this as an accent pot, something like that, or something like that. I will drill a hole through this part here where there's already a hole, and I'll drill a hole right here, and then this will just run out naturally. We'll flex seal it with a rubber seal so it won't ruin the wood, and we'll be able to have some, uh, um, uh, I mentioned maybe before, some uh, Irish moss in there, uh, just something that's gonna be a nice little uh, bit of greenery with, greenery with maybe some small little flowers on there. So update number one is uh, the uh, grape wood, and then update number two is the redwood bonsai stand. So here's the redwood bonsai stand. If I lift it up, you can see how nice and shiny it is. We'll get the reflection of the light over there, I'm sure. Um, so it gets, uh, you can see the grain in here pretty well if you get uh, the right angle. I hope that's not too shiny for you there. Um, cuts off back here. It's got this nice little peninsula here. And so when I get a, uh, a bonsai pot that's maybe of a, of a decent size, let's grab one of my tropicals right here. And so I'll say I want to show this tropical off, and I put it right here. There we have, um, I think my Green Island ficus, one of my Green Island ficus, which is uh, taken off, by the way. This is new growth since the plant room down here. This is long, elongated from the plant room, doing really, really, really nice down here. So here's one pot that could be on this stand in the future or something like that. Uh, so it's very cool to see that come to fruition. These pots are probably just a little bit big for this. Uh, I don't know if I'd put this great big square one on here. If you turn this around, it doesn't look too bad here from this angle because you've got the front here and then there's a little bit of this part that jets out right here. So that could work. But I also don't mind seeing a little bit of the intricacies of this back here. If I go like this, you can see this intricacy right there, even though there's a little indent in there. Maybe just a pot that's a little bit smaller than this, not quite this big and not quite as small as the other one. So there is the, uh, the new stand that's, uh, it's pretty firm now from this last coat. When I turned it upside down, there are just a few little spots here that I would like to uh, touch up. So some dry spots right there, some dry spots in here, just a couple of spots. So I'll turn it upside down now next time and get those spots. Otherwise, this is super close. We'll get a couple of real thick pads on here and put four pads on here. And so this can sit really nicely on the surface. So there is the update on the bones I stand from the redwood cutting or the redwood chunk of wood that I got on vacation this past summer. So looking forward to showing you uh, some footage from that uh, trip uh, with some trees. And so there is the update there. I've got one more update for you then we'll wrap this one up today. Update number two are the Premnas. So we uh, did some air layering on the Premnas uh, this summer. We cut them off and we repotted those and they're all growing pretty well. I'll show those on an update in a couple of episodes, but I'm still so amazed at the growth of these trees. So this is where we chopped off this tree right here 
and we've got this growth that is pencil thick at the bottom and it is over a foot tall now. So this thing is amazingly growing. It's unbelievable. And now it's still, uh, it's still green down here, but it's starting to slowly change color in this bottom couple inches, like it's getting uh, 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 hardened off, right? It's a woody trunk. So that's pretty cool. So I'm not sure with this species uh, yet how soon I could cut this without it really slowing it down. But our general rule of thumb when we do prune, if I prune this thing down, all the oxen that's up in this uh, tree right now that wants to just keep growing big, with these super big leaves, by the way, um, that's because we're indoors, we don't have the sunshine, so the leaves are bigger, the internodes are probably longer than I would really like. Um, you can see them here, they're a good inch plus, getting even longer up here. So they're just reaching for this, these lights that I have in my room, reaching for the sun from the north window, or the lightness I should say. But eventually here, I need to cut this off. So I will probably cut it down way down to here, and then I've got branches here, here, small leaves here, here, and here. So at least down to here, I think I don't, I wouldn't cut it any lower than this. And I'd see if I can get some other branching to branch off here. I just don't know how much dieback I might get with this Premna because it's a new species for me. Uh, but the way it's growing, for how ferociously it's growing, I would imagine right now I could cut this thing back and uh, I would get all kinds of more growth shooting out. There's even tiny little growth right here between the, the base of the tree the main uh, stump and the first in the growth here. So we're gonna cut this back here in the coming weeks, but I'm not gonna do it today. So that's this one. And then we have this guy that has five trunks growing from the main trunk. So the trunk is inside there. That's where we cut it off and cleaned it up. And I had one or two suckers growing up and now there are five. You can see these two are super, super skinny. This one's a little bit thicker and then these two are the ones that have taken off. So I certainly have a multi-trunk potential tree here. So it's like this mini little forest in a super small condensed area, all from that stump right there. But look at the growth in this as well. We were talking of almost a full foot for sure on this one. These two are the thick ones. We got some thin ones here. We're just gonna keep this one going. I'm not gonna cut this one back either yet. We want these to be uh, tall trees right now and maybe get some more hardening off at the bottom here before I trim them off. So there's update number two, the Premnas. Only a few weeks after they've been inside, what are we at, mid-November, so about six weeks indoors, and chopped off with the air layering about a week or two after that, and about four weeks of growth. Unbelievable growth, super, super exciting. That is gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate all the comments coming in, and uh, I did get a hint or a suggestion from someone recently on the, um, the cuttings from the Kishu Juniper. And it's something I've been wanting to do for years, but I keep forgetting to try it. And this was my first cuttings from Junipers and I had them outside, um, but heat mats. Yeah, getting some heat mats and putting them underneath your cuttings to keep those roots warm and that warmth is gonna promote the root growth. So super excited to get some heat uh, uh, mats because I've ordered them online. Uh, they're supposed to come tomorrow. So in the next episode, we'll find a nice place for those. We'll put all my cuttings there and I'll show you what I do with the heat mat. So thanks for that tip. I do appreciate that. Hit like if you haven't already and uh, subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I so appreciate all your time and attention. Keep on growing your bonsais, all right? Yeah, take care of you. Take care of your bonsai and we'll catch you on the next one.